So next up, we want to be able to get a list of either the users that are following a user or the users that a user is following. So let's head back to VS Code and set this up. And I'll just clean up my windows. And inside the application, inside the followers, let's add another new class. And we'll just call this one list in this particular case. And what this is going to be is a query handler. So let's use our queue handler snippets. And what we're going to return from this is a list of profiles. So I'll specify list and profile inside here. And then let's just bring in everything we need. So we're going to need mediator. We're going to need system collections generic. We're going to need application profiles and our data context from persistence and system.threading tasks and system.threading. And I'll just reformat. And what we also want to bring in here, because we're returning a list of profiles, is our new iProfile Reader. So I'll bring in iProfile Reader and just call it Profile Reader. And we just need to initialize the field from parameter. So what we want to pass in as parameters to this and properties inside our query handler is we want to get the string of the username that we want to get the followings or followers for and to identify if it's the users that user is following or is a follower of then we'll just use a predicate and we'll call it predicates for the string that we'll use to identify which list we want to return in this case. And then inside the logic here, what we want to do is we want to build up a list of followings from our database. So what we'll do is we'll create a variable and we'll call it queryable. And we'll say context.followings as queryable in this case and we'll bring in system.link. Now nothing's gone to the database at this point. We haven't retrieved any followings. All we've done is created a variable that's of type iQueryable that's going to contain user followings. And what we want to do is populate this based on what our predicate is. So what we'll also do is we'll create a couple of variables and I'll say var user followings equals new list of user following and we'll bring in domain for this and what we'll also do is create a new list of profiles so we'll say new list of type profile and then what we'll do is we'll use a switch statement based on what is inside our predicate or what our predicate is set to. So just underneath this, I'll create a switch statement. And this is going to be based on the request.predicates. And for our first case, we'll set this to followers. And in here, we'll set our user followings equal to await and queryable dot where. And then we'll say x goes to x dot target dot username is equal to the request dot username. And we'll pass this to a list async. And we'll also need to bring in Entity Framework Core. And let's just try and tidy this up a little bit as well. So this is going to bring back a list of the users the current user is following and pass list to a list. And then what we want to do for each one of the users inside here, we want to go and get their profile. So what we'll do underneath this, we'll say for each and we'll say var follower in user followings 
and then we'll say profiles dot adds and then we'll say awaits profile reader dot read profile and then we'll pass in the follower dot observer dot username and underneath this we'll add a break and then what we want to do is a very similar thing but in this case it's going to be fully following instead of followers so I'll just copy this line down and change this to following and instead of x.target.username we want to get the observer.username in this case is equal to the request.username and in the for each we also want to change follower.target.username as well and this is going to give us the followings instead of the followers and then underneath our switch statements so make sure we're below this then we can return the profiles now the predicates that we're passing in here we're going to get from the query string instead of passing this in the body of a request because this is an HTTP GET request for a query then we're going to pass the predicates up as part of the query string and we'll have access to that there and what we also need to do is add our controller method so let's open up the followers controller and inside here what we'll do is we'll add an HTTP GET and we'll need to pass in some root parameters and it's going to be the username and I'll just call it follow as the second part to the root parameter and what we'll do here is we'll say public async task and we'll pass in an action result which is going to be a list of profiles and we'll just call this get followings and we'll pass in two parameters here string of the username which we get from our root parameter here and we'll also pass in another string for the predicates which will be passed up as a query string and we also need to bring in system collections generic and our profile from application profiles and then what we can do is return await and mediator dot send and this is going to be a new list dot query and we'll also need to initialize our two properties so our username is going to be set to username and our predicate is going to be set to the predicate in this case and with this in place we should be able to test that we can go ahead and get these users that are following another user so let's go test this out and if we go back to postman we've got a number of requests here to get Bob's followings and get Bob's followers and Tom's followings and Tom's followers so let's start with getting Bob's followings this is the people that Bob is following and we know that we should receive the profile for Tom back as part of a profiles array now the way that we call this particular request is in our get request here we're going to API slash profiles slash Bob and follow and then we're passing in the predicates as a query string and if we click on send for this request we've clearly got a problem with the API and I've missed off a semicolon here so let's go back and try that again and I'll click on send again and this time we get success and we get 200 back and we get Tom's profile as the only user that Bob is following and if I get the users that are following Bob then this should be an empty array because nobody is following Bob at this particular time and that's fine if I look at Tom's followings Tom is following nobody at this moment so this should be an empty array and it is and if I get Tom's followers then we should get Bob's profile back because we know Bob is following Tom and if I click send then we get Bob's profile back in this particular case so that part's working fine as well and there's one more piece in the API that we want to cover before we move on and configure this in the client and if I go back and take a look at getting our activities 
then what I also want to add in the attendee information is whether or not the currently logged in user is following the particular attendee we're sending back here. And we'll take a look at how we can achieve that next.